Today we're going to uh, make a footprint. So you would like to go to the start menu by pressing the window button on your keyboard. Then you want to press publisher. For this activity you need a blank 8.5 by 11 publication. Then you're going to go to insert, online pictures, type footprint, one word, search. You want the one that is fifth on the right. Now resize it using the handle in the corner so that it stays in proportion. Make it about the size of your piece of paper. Next, you're going to ungroup it so that you can only have one of the two feet. And make sure that um, you go to picture tools and format. You're going to go to ungroup. You might not have the word, but you will have that picture, so look for that icon. When this dialog box opens, say yes. It's still grouped, so you need to uh, ungroup it once more. And now click away in the scratch area. Then I want you to uh, click between the two feet and hit the delete on your keyboard. Then you're going to decide which foot you're going to keep. I'm keeping the one on the right, so I'm going to draw an imaginary box around the one on the left. And it will select everything, and I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. I'll do the same for the other foot, but this time I'm going to hit group. Now, in order to resize this and stay in proportion, you have to hold the shift on your keyboard while you're resizing. Make it about the size of your piece of paper. Okay, the next step is to get rid of the black. So, you need to make sure that you just have the entire foot selected. If you have extra handles like these, then you have only a portion of it. So, like in this toe, if I make any changes to it, it's going to just change the toe. That's not what you want. So, make sure that you have just the entire foot selected, the handles around the outside. Then I want you to go to Drawing Tools and Format, and I want you to go to Shape Fill and select No Fill. It looks like your foot has disappeared, but it hasn't. Go to Shape Outline, select a color. Doesn't matter, my printer is black and white, but for designing purposes, it's great. Now you want to change the weight of the line, which is how heavy it is. So you're going to go back to Shape Outline, and you're going to select Weight, and about three, I think, is good. Makes it a little fatter, a little more defined. And that's it.